This is what made me really good at selling. And I remember like a month ago, I was like on the team. It was like four people, it was like a late on a Saturday. I was speaking to the guy on the phone and I, I was like, hey guys, this right here is what made me good at selling final expense. I paused the Zoom, I paused the conversation. This guy needed to think about it. I was like, this is what makes you a winner and this is what makes you a loser. I said, I'm going to close this guy because he needs to think about it. And if you can just get through the small objection, like it'll change the game for you. And you just will be able to close those people because these people are procrastinators or hard. Like this is a hard sale, guys. I want you to know it's like these people, you can see now you have a better feel, low income, like low priorities, neglect their life, neglect their health. I could probably put off another decision, right? So that's the frame that I always came to is like, they're probably just gonna, they wanna put off that until I can you know, put some pressure on helping them make a decision. So um, here's the frame that I go after Dave and I'm gonna do it with you and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach, then you can do it with me. We'll just, we'll just go through it rapid fire. Um, so for example, you tell me, you know, Dave, you think the 10,000 and the 15,000, what will give you the, the most peace of mind? Uh, so uh, do you think uh, the 10,000 or the 15,000, which would give you the most peace of mind? Yeah, I'm going to do it with you and you give me the answer. So oh, okay. yeah, you're the client. So uh, what do you think would give me the most, do you think the 10 or the 15, what would give you the most peace of mind as a father? Uh, maybe uh, the 10,000, but yeah, 10,000. Okay, gotcha. And that 10,000, would that be nice, comfortable and affordable for you? Yeah, but yeah. Okay, and I'm assuming you get the ejection here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go name your beneficiaries, we're gonna go ahead and set up that payment, and then we're gonna go ahead and, um, you know, put your beneficiaries down, and at the end here, we're gonna make sure we can set up the payment for you. Is this something you wanna start immediately, or do you wanna select a due date? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, um, I need to talk to my wife about that. Perfect, objection comes, and you're about to, you sell, you sell like you sold them, objection comes, cool thing. Perfect, always acknowledge it. So Dave, I totally understand, I think you do a great job. Dave, I totally understand of you know you needing to speak with your wife. This is a huge decision. Um, but kind of fill me in. When you need to speak to your wife, what is it specifically that you need to speak to your wife about? Oh, you know, we, we make decisions together mm -hmm. uh, on things. Okay, gotcha. So it sounds like you need your wife to help you kind of make the decision. And, you know, as you're, you know, kind of speaking through with your wife, is it more of like the price or you're not sure if you need it? Uh, it's... it's it's fair, but the price is fine. I'm not sure if I, if I need it. It's not even a question, you know, but I just need to talk about We always make our decisions together. She'll be home probably about 6 p.m. this evening. Okay, cool, cool. So she'll be home at 6 p.m. I totally understand you need to think about it. So you, it sounds to me it's not really so much the price. It's more about the value. And it sounds like to me, Dave, um, you know, you, you want the life insurance. It's just making sure that she kind of agrees with it. Is that about right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And let me just ask you this, Dave, because you told me earlier that you want to make sure that you have a little something in place to take care of your wife. So if something happens to you that your wife's not stuck paying those barrel expenses, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So do you think your wife would be upset at you? Just got rid theoretically if she's here right now. Would she be mad at you for putting a solution in place to make sure that she's taken care of? Do you think she'd be upset at you for that? No, not really. But you know, we always make those decisions together, you know? Yeah, of course. Dave, can I make a suggestion for you? Okay, sure. So what we can do, and this is what most people do that typically need to speak to their wife, especially as a man, I know as a, as a leader of the household and as a man, you wanna make sure your wife's taken care of, right? So what most people would do is what we'll do is we'll, you know, you'll start out with that, that $10,000 worth of the coverage. You know, first see if we can get you approved and ultimately, you know, have something to bring to your wife because if you can't get qualified today, we're not even sure if you can get this day one coverage. If you do get approved, you can always speak to your wife. And if you go to her and you say, hi, honey, you know, I got life insurance. I love you. And I want to make sure your family is taken care of. And she says, I don't want the life insurance. Don't worry about me. Put me in a financial burden. Uh, cancel that life insurance. You just call me back and we'll cancel that life insurance. But ultimately, you speak with her and if we do get you approved, we can always set up for a date that makes sense for you. Does that sound fair? So what I'm gonna share with you what I did there, it's understanding what the problem is. So I think you need to first understand before you make that suggestion. So I think what you did when I was listening to your call is, I need to speak to my wife. Okay, if your wife was theoretically here, would she be mad at you? You go right to that first, right? That's what I did. Instead of saying, okay, if your wife is here, just kind of walk me through what are you most concerned about? You need to understand what the concern is. So we're going to try that together. So you understand what the concern is because it has to be something. It's either price, they can't afford it. And Cody, I think you're probably learning this as well. There need to be a, you need to have an understanding of what they need to bring to their wife. 
So let's say, what, what's, I totally understand you always agree, number one, and then secondly is what do you need to go over with your wife? Pretty simple question. I just wanna make sure she's okay with it. Well, I understand that, but what do you need to go with her before you can make a decision? Get that clarification. They're probably not gonna say it's price because they're, they're men and they have egos. Uh, I just wanna make sure she's on board. And then you're gonna be like, okay, gotcha. So it sounds like it's not so much the price, it's just making sure that she's on board with the life insurance, right? Okay. Then you can go into that hypothetical. Hypothetically speaking, if your wife was here, do you think she'd be upset at you for putting a solution in place to make sure that she's taken care of and that she's not stuck with your burial expenses? So you can go with the hypothetical next, or you can go with previous statements, previous ammunition. Remember I told you earlier, having a little bit is better than nothing? Well, Dave, walk me through it. You told me earlier, having a little bit better than nothing, right? And they say yes. Well, hypothetically, if your wife was speak, if was sitting right next to you here at the kitchen table, do you think she would be mad at you for getting some life insurance in place to make sure she's taken care of? No. She would say no. So can I, then you go ahead and make that suggestion. So Dave, can I make a suggestion to you? What most men do that I speak to, who need to speak to their wife, what they will do is we'll go ahead and first see if we can get you approved for this 10000 so that you can go to bed at night knowing that as a father and as a man that your wife is taken care of. Now what you can do is then speak to your wife after this conversation. You can go to her and say, honey, I got us life insurance. I love you. I wanted to make sure that if something happens to you tomorrow that you're taken care of. And if she says, Dave, why did you take care of me? I, know, I have no idea why you're looking after me. Cancel out life insurance. And she thinks it's a terrible idea. I want you to call me. We can cancel out life insurance. But ultimately as a man, you can know that you did your job to protect your wife. Does that sound fair? And then you end with, does that sound fair? So what that is, is you're, you're almost making it like, it's like a, you're telling a story there. Like if you go to her and she's like, you know, put me in this $10,000 burden or let me start a GoFundMe. I don't need the life insurance. Then you can call me back and cancel it. You see that?